When you bring two magnets together, they align north to south and they stay in this configuration forever. Not too exciting to watch, but there's a trick. We can make them small and then see what happens. Welcome to the world of nanomagnetism. At low temperatures, still nothing will happen and they will act as macroscopic magnets. If one is pointing to the left, the other will do the same. If you flip one, the other will flip. We can force the magnets to point in opposite directions, but this costs energy, and this state corresponds to an excited state. Both pointing out or both pointing in is equivalent with respect to energy cost. When we heat the magnets, they will start to flip randomly. But there's more to it. Let us add two more and see what happens. This is our ice rule. Two in, two out. Exactly as we see on the bond distance in real eyes. Type 1 carries no net magnetic moment. By flipping all the elements, we obtain the same energy, a ground state. There are more configurations which satisfy the ice rule. Two in and two out. Here we see type 2, which carries a net moment. Here we see a configuration of type 3, where we have one pointing in and three pointing out. This is an excited state and the ice rule is outruled. Flip them all and you get the same state with respect to energy. And finally, here we have the highest possible excitation, where all the moments are pointing in, which has the same energy as all pointing out. When the temperature is increased, the magnets will start to flip. But if we can do better than this, let us add more elements. Looks like we have to use some tricks here. Let us apply a magnetic field. This is better. Half the magnets are pointing in the same direction as the magnetic field. And they will follow the field. Here we have the final trick. By applying a field in the diagonal direction, all the magnets will align, resulting in about 40% larger magnetization. Here we see that the islands become disordered before losing the magnetic moment. Depending on which direction we apply the magnetic field, we see a clear difference in the temperature dependence. We have therefore demonstrated the melting of two-dimensional artificial spin eyes.